Some children get, you know, are in accidents, car accidents, bike accidents, accidents on the playground that hurt the brain, and we'd like to be able to detect the damage that's done and, you know, to help them get better over time uh, so that uh, they can return to school in their normal lives. Brain imaging is, uh, represents or is a group of approaches that doctors and scientists use to look inside the brain without having to open the brain up. So it gives us a way of, of looking inside the body um, without requiring any surgery or blood. Scanner is a, uh, another word we use for an MRI machine, so sometimes we call it an MRI scanner. Um, and I think that's just because it produces an image. If you're going in to get an MRI, there's nothing to be afraid of. You basically go into a tube where there's a large magnetic field. It's completely safe. And you might hear some clicking and clacking, but what's happening is that the instruments are recording the moving of water molecules in your body. And that data is then taken to a computer and processed, and you can generate an image of the brain or another organ in the body. So these different colors that you see in the image represent different pathways, or you could think of them as roads that connect different parts of the brain together. And this is one of the ways that we can see whether the brain is normal or whether it's been changed in disease. And then here's some of the vertebrae and the spinal cord. Right here, the spinal cord that turns into the brain stem. And this is the corpus callosum. It's the, it's the, um, the superhighway that connects the two halves of the brain. Here's the nose and the tongue. Find out more about your brain and nervous system at kidshealth.org. Learn which parts of the brain affect your activities at science.education.nih.gov. And for more about your health, visit kids.gov.